As for today, there are 15 total games being played, but one thing that I do want to note is that there are no odds posted as of this morning for the Pirates versus Rays game. So instead of waiting until odds got posted, I just decided to skip that one entirely. So instead of 15 bets, there's going to be 14 bets all for $1, so 14 plays, and now we can get into it. Play number one in the Mets versus Tigers game. We are taking the Tigers team total under three and a half. That is at plus 100 odds at BetMGM. Here's my hard hitting analysis for this game. The Tigers stink. Moving on. Next up, we got Braves versus Marlins, and we're taking the Braves money line at plus 118 odds at Bet Rivers. They got a good pitcher on the mound in Bryce Elder. Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins is a stud, but he's been struggling. I love the Braves this year. Really, really good team. I'm taking their money line. Next up, Cubs versus Nats. Let's go with a yes run first inning. This is at minus 102 odds at FanDuel. This hit yesterday when two good pitchers were pitching. Now we're backing it today with two bad pitchers pitching. Sometimes it really is as simple as that. Next up, we got Guardians versus Yankees, and we are taking under seven runs, minus 105 odds at Caesars. So it's a low total, but we got two studly pitchers on the mound. Also for the Yankees, their bats are completely banged up, fading the Yankees offense, taking under seven runs in Guardians Yankees. Next up, we got Blue Jays versus Red Sox, taking Blue Jays money line, minus 112 odds at Bet Rivers. The Red Sox pitcher stinks. The Blue Jays have Kikuchi on the mound, who is a stud. I like the Blue Jays to win this one straight up. Next up, we got Twins versus White Sox. Give me the White Sox plus one and a half, minus 120 odds at FanDuel. To be honest with you, this was strictly a positive expected value bet. We got it at minus 120. Every other book had it in like the minus 135 range. Great value, so I hit it. Next up, we have the Orioles versus the Royals. We're taking the Orioles team total over four and a half, minus 115 odds at FanDuel. Here's my hard hitting analysis on this one. The Orioles are really hot, one of the better teams in baseball so far. The Royals stink, have a bad pitcher on the mound. Now for the next one in the Angels versus Cardinals game, we are taking the Angels money line plus 116 odds at FanDuel. This one's a little bit scary, but Steven Matz is pitching on the mound for the Cardinals. He stinks, so we're going to go ahead and fade him, take the Angels money line. Next up in the Diamondbacks versus Rangers game, we are taking our first no-run first inning bet of the day. This is at minus 125 odds at Caesars. My analysis here, two really, really good pitchers on the mound for each team. Rangers are pretty good in the first inning. Diamondbacks are not. We're just counting on the pitchers to get through six outs with no runs, and I really like this one. Next up, we have the Giants versus the Astros, and we are taking the Astros minus one and a half, plus 130 odds at Bet Rivers. Now, there are two good pitchers on the mound for both teams. Hunter Brown is on the mound for the Astros, and the Giants, they just can't do anything. So while the Astros might only score two runs, that also might be enough because the Giants can't do anything. So Astros minus one and a half is the play. Next up for the Brewers versus Rockies, we're taking another no run first inning bet. This is at plus 140 odds at Caesars. Now this one is admittedly scary being played at Coors Field, but even at home, the Rockies just don't score in the first and they have a pretty decent pitcher on the mound. So the Brewers, they're average in the first inning, not expecting them to get any runs on this one. And the plus 140 odds is just great value. Next up, we have Reds versus Padres. We're taking the Reds money line plus 165 odds at bet 365. Now this one admittedly a little bit risky taking the Reds money line, but Michael Walker pitching for the Padres, he stinks. Reds have a good pitcher on the mound. I'll take that matchup and ride with the Reds money line. Next up, we have Mariners versus A's and we are taking Mariners first half run line minus a half. This is at plus 116 odds at Vandal. Now the Mariners have their top pitching prospect on the mound today, making his first start. Team's gonna be fired up for that. On the A's side, Mason Miller's pitching. He's got decent stuff, can't get it together, gives up a ton of runs, so the Mariners are gonna be able to score on him. And I think their pitcher has a good start, so we'll take them to lead after five innings. Next up, we have Phillies Dodgers, and this one's a little bit risky, but we're taking the Dodgers team total under four, minus 104 odds at FanDuel. Matt Strom is pitching for the Phillies, who has pitched really well so far. He'll only go five or six innings, and then the Phillies bullpen will come up, and they've been pitching a lot better recently than they were at the beginning of the year. So I think they hold the Dodgers to under four runs in this one, which is why we are riding with it. And that is going to be it. So 14 plays for you guys, $1 on each, gives us a max potential profit of $15.14. If we go 14 and up, which let's be honest, we probably will. So again, if you enjoy 
enjoyed this, if you're channeling, all that good stuff, please comment and let me know. Other than that, remember to like, subscribe, hit me up at my Twitter handle, Jedi Modi. And thanks for watching and have a good one. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Below are all of my different social medias where I post picks and plays daily. Make sure to hit me up there. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I'm constantly putting out new videos to learn how to make money sports betting. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.